Hi, welcome to RCTV UK. Today we've got a short episode for you. A bit of an update about the Titan. I know you've seen a video before. Um, it was Tony's Titan. I was flying it, telling you how impressed I was. I did go home that evening, buy myself one. Um, this is my one in my hands. Um, it's identical to Tony's test, um, setup, other than the ESCs. Um, I use Turner G plushes I had kicking around. They haven't been modified. They're straight from Hobby King as they are. Um, I think you can probably understand what the plan is and what we're going to do today. When I flew Tony's, it was, had that locked in feeling. It was just solid and I felt in complete control and it would stop where I put it. Mine doesn't do that. Um, I've got the same motors as Tony, running the same cells. Um, we've got the same setup roughly on the KK2 and um, mine's just a little bit more wobbly doesn't really um, fly like I want, so that was a bit disappointing. Um, there is a video on the ProFlight website showing you about the response speed of their ESCs, Simon K flashed. It is much, much quicker. Um, I'm almost positive, in fact I am positive, that's what's giving me the locked in feeling on Tony's. Um, so what we're gonna do is gonna chop out these ESCs, put these ones back on, and hopefully we'll get this great airframe fry, uh, flying like it should be. So um, we love the Titan, we love the uh, collapsible arms on crashing, the fact that it's got an almost jello free or jello free, I mean you've seen the previous video hopefully, um, the camera gimbal, not gimbal, but uh, the GoPro platform it's got on the front here gives you some outstanding footage and uh, that's what I want to get out of this and uh, I'm not happy with it at the moment. So. I'll go and get the modifications done, chop in a few photos possibly, and then we'll get it out to the field and uh, get that sorted. We're also working on uh, a Backbones video today, so we're going to bring you some more footage about that kit as well. Um, that's going to be using the same ESCs and also the new motors from Pro, uh, ProFlight. Change the bloody ESCs, Alan! Guys, we're out the field. We've put the ESCs in the uh, Titan, so we thought we'd get out in the daylight. I know you're not used to daylight in our videos, nor are we, but we thought we'd do that. We are working on the Backbones project as well today, so uh, we thought we'd get the flight done and then we'd go back and do that. Um, haven't flown it yet, so we'll just pop it straight into the air, get this done. There is obviously a build video for the Titan with all of the parts we've used that Tony, one of our colleagues, did. Um, so if you do need any information on that, please refer back to Tony's video, but this is purely a flight test, mainly on the uh, ESCs. So let's get her in the air. And there you go, she's uh, needs a little bit of expo in. I haven't flown it for a while because I was so despondent, but already I can tell the tricopter is uh, helping me. She's absolutely rock solid. So good investment, time to get the GoPro on it shortly and get some video footage for you guys but, but I think that's been a success. Thanks for tuning in to RCTV UK. See you soon.